Hey, this is Daisy over at Service Photo. Today I'm going to explain to you how to use the hyperfocal scale on your cameras and lenses in your photography. I'll demonstrate for film shooters with a Nikon F3 and a 20mm f3.5 lens, and for Fuji shooters, my own personal X-Pro3 with a 23mm f1.4. So focusing with the hyperfocal scale, or some call it scale focusing, is a good method for street photography because it allows you to get everything in focus before you've even composed your shot. Using this method, your photo should be relatively sharp within the hyperfocal range. Now with digital, things towards the edge of that range, so either at infinity or at the close focus distance, may not be perfectly tack sharp, although for most people other than pixel peepers, it's usually pretty good. With film, however, because the medium is just a little less sharp in general, a little more grainy, it won't really be a problem. Your photos will be pretty sharp overall. So you'll want to set your aperture to something smaller, like f8 or below. In this case, I've got it set to f16. And then you'll want to move infinity, where it's marked over on the lens, over to the appropriate aperture marking, so f16 in this case. And then everything between the f16 line and the other line on the other side of the same color will be in approximate focus. Now, to do the same thing on a Fujifilm camera, you'll want to open up your menu, go to the autofocus manual focus settings, scroll down until you find the setting that says depth of field scale. You'll have two options, pixel basis and film format basis. So pixel basis will only tell you the exact point at which the camera is focused. We want to use film format basis because that will give us a nice big scale that we can use to see our approximate depth of field indicated here by the little blue line around the focus point. Thanks for watching. I hope these tips help you out with your photography.